How are you there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV and today what I want to do is chuck my two cents into this debate, the nine data debate that I saw on Facebook but then I really got into it recently when I saw it on Jack the darts referee's Twitter account and he put, I might as well show you what he put. So this is the tweet that he put out, he's put just seen this on Facebook, if you are practicing and you hit 180, 180, then go a 141, does that count as a 9, or is it just hitting three scores in a row? He then goes on to say he'll count it every time, but people saying it doesn't count if it wasn't in a leg. Now, if we look a little bit further down, this got brought to my attention because, here you see, Thornton Darts tags me in it and lets me know, like my opinion of what I said, because we've had this debate before, we've had this discussion, it's actually one of the things that quite bugged me a bit. I wrote down a um, couple of comments here that people have said. So, JW here has gone, hole in one, don't count if you're on the practice round in that case then. Keep that in mind, because we're going to come back to that point very soon. He's saying hole in one doesn't count on a practice round. Dan Hutchinson here has got the point. He understands it. He said, not a nine as you aren't playing a leg of darts. By the way, the fair comparison would be golf. An endless fairway with no holes. You randomly decide which one to create when it suits you. Exactly that. So if we go back to JW's point here, a hole in one doesn't count you on the practice round. The thing is, you would know that you're going for that hole in one because you'll have a start point and a finish point. The finish point will be the hole. The start point will be wherever you're whacking the ball from. I'm not very golf terminology. So wherever we're giving it a good old happy Gilmore. So in that respects, yeah, I, if you're playing a leg of 501, and you're, you're playing against a bot, you're playing against a friend, you're playing in practice, and you go 180, 180, 141. Yes, I would vouch for the fact that that would count as a 9 data. Just because it's in practice, I don't think it should, shouldn't should count. But the point, I think, here that JW's missed, and there's a few others, that, I'm not just picking out JW, there's loads of other things in here as well. The, the point with that is the sequence of throws. You could be throwing darts for an hour... And then when you hit a 180, and then you hit the next two trebles, you go, oh, I'm on a 9 data. But there was no start point to that 9 data. It was just on a sequence of events. You know, that would be great if in life we could just go, like, watching a horse race. And when it's 10 lengths clear, go, oh, I'll back that one. Because it's winning. And it's the same sort of thing here. It's just jumping on that sequence. Um, someone mentions a bit further down. Let's have a look, see if we can find him. I've wrote down a couple of names here to look for. There you go, Big Jim. Yeah, Big Jim's put it. He's put, if you want to be pedantic, it doesn't count as a nine darter. However, nine perfect darts in a row is still a hell of an achievement. It should be celebrated. I 100% agree with Big Jim here. He says it's nine perfect darts. You've thrown nine targets and you've hit nine targets, but it's not a nine darter. So be happy with your nine targets, be happy with those nine hits, but it's not a nine dart leg, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm certainly not passing that one. Um... Personally, I wouldn't go for the one four one finish. I try and see how many one eighties I can hit in a row. My record's five. Very very happy with that. I don't know if I'll ever be able to beat that, to be honest with you. Um, but I just go for it and see how many times I can hit a one eighty in a row, rather than go for the one four one because that's it. It's not a nine data, is it? It really isn't. Uh, there's another one here that I wrote down to take a little look at. Sober Darts guy and Clash of Tungsten's also going, nope, not having it, not having it. Oh, Thomas, he'd take it. I think Thomas would take it on, on the basis of, like say, the nine perfect darts, rather than it being a nine dart leg. Jack actually followed it up with this one as well. He says, yo, if you're out throwing 180, 180, 141 in practice, don't tell me you're not messaging your mates or tweeting, oh my god, just hit a nine data, because you all are. I can tell you that this isn't just the thing that goes on in the, the, in the amateur game. The amount of times that you're on the pro tour and someone goes, oh, I've hit a nine data in practice. And it's like, you've been practicing for an hour. Was you playing legs in your head, maybe, to, to, to find that out? Or 
if you hit a 180, and then you hit another 180, someone behind you goes, oh, he's on the nine data. No, I'm not on the nine data. I've been throwing darts for 30 minutes. You can't just say, now I've hit two 180s, I'm on a nine data. So, we'll have a little quick look through this one. Oh, look at this, Thornton darts. Of course he has. Yeah, I'd be all over it. Of course he would be. He'd be lucky to get a 180, never mind 180, 180, 141. So... Clash of Tungsten's consistent there. I don't know whether Jack's baiting him in here, but he certainly got the bite there. Defo not, wouldn't be doing it as a nine. So, let's do a quick. Everyone counts it. Lying if they don't. Barry Savage puts his on Facebook. So, do we count it as a nine data? Personally, my opinion, no chance. No chance unless you have a sequence of events. If you have a definitive start point, I'm going to play a leg of darts against the computer, against myself, against the invisible man, against this. If you've got a start point and you do that, absolutely fine. Take your nine data in practice. It's not the practice, or it's not practice versus match, that makes this debatable that that's what people get confused with like um jw who says well if you hit all in one in practice it doesn't count it's not practice versus match it's start and finish point feel free to say you've got a nine data if you've got that 501 and you've got that clear start and finish point but guys let me know what you think i'm, I'm probably gonna regret this aren't i i'm probably gonna regret this i can see it already there's gonna be some weird debate going on in my comment section i'm sure i'll be checking it out though guys do you agree? And I'll catch you soon for some more Edgar TV.